Hi, my name is Dennis, and I am a developer on the Simulink and State Flow Editors team here at the MathWorks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your keyboard to make selections and control those selections in the Simulink, State Flow, or System Composer editors. Now, as long as we've been shipping Simulink and State Flow, you've been able to use keyboard shortcuts to control the selected items. So, for example, Control S to save, Control A to select all. But there have always been more actions available than we have keys to assign them to. We introduced the control period shortcut to bring up action search when we introduced the tool strip. Now I can press control period, a few fragments of the name or description of the action that I'd like to take. We'll automatically do some wildcard matching and we'll show you the action that is available. In this case, I've looked for configuration parameters. The name of the action is Model Settings, and we show you the keyboard shortcut that you can use the next time you want to go to Model Settings. I don't actually want to do this right now, so I'll hit Escape to cancel that avoidance. I can also use Control Period to get into Quick Insert mode. I can press Control Period once to bring up Action Search, and I can press it again to switch to the Block Search tab. I can now type the name of the block, and pressing return would insert that block in my canvas. I don't actually want to do that at the moment, so once again I'll hit escape. Now, in order to take actions, you usually have to have a selection to act on. Starting in 20B, you'll be able to start from with an empty selection, and just press one of the arrow keys to start selecting items. So I'll start by pressing an arrow, and you can see one of my items became selected. I can use the arrow keys to move the selection around the canvas to select other items. And you'll also note that we now have, uh, in addition to the selection glow, there's this dashed outline that's being drawn. This is our keyboard selection cursor. It's both an indicator of where you've moved most recently and to let you know that you're in keyboard selection mode. If you're only single selecting, they'll always be around the same item. However, you can extend to multiple selection. Pressing the shift key will cause the cursor to, to move as you press the arrows, selecting every item that the cursor traverses. If what you want to select are items that aren't directly next to each other, instead of using the shift key, you can use the control key. So by using the control key, the selection cursor will move without changing the existing selection. When you reach an item that you want to select, pressing control and the space bar, will add that item to the selection if it's not already selected, or remove it from the selection if it is already selected. You probably are used to moving items around in the canvas using the arrow keys, so pressing the M key will dismiss the keyboard selection cursor and allow the arrow keys to move the items that were selected instead. Pressing the M key again will return you to keyboard selection mode. And we try and be intelligent about this to save you extra key presses. If you've made your selection via the mouse, we automatically place you in the mode where the arrow keys will move the selected items around. If, however, you're starting without a selection and you're starting to press the arrow keys, you'll see you're automatically in keyboard selection mode since you had no selection to act on. Now we can also drill into subsystems by pressing the Enter key. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select these three imports and clean them up a little bit. And I'll use Shift arrow keys to do that. Then I'll press Control period to bring up Action Search. And I'll search for one of our alignment features to clean those up and make them nicely aligned. Now if I want to give all of the ports here a little bit of emphasis, I can use Control and arrow keys to move over to the outports. Control space to add them to the selection. Now I have all my ports selected, and I'll just bring up the font dialog quickly to change those to a slightly more emphatic font. Pressing Escape navigates out to the containing system. As I said, this works both in Simulink and Stateflow, as well as System Composer. So I'll go to the state chart. It's masked, so I'll use Control U to look under the mask and go in. And you can see that the arrow keys will also navigate around within Stateflow. And because Stateflow has containment within a single layer, like a nested state, 
Pressing enter will also move the selection inward here to one of the child states. You can go back out to the parent layer, either by using an arrow key to navigate in a direction where there is no other child, or by pressing the escape key. So I'll navigate back in by pressing enter, navigate back out by pressing escape. So this gives you the ability to make complex selections in the editor and take actions on them via action search, all without taking your hands off the keyboard. Thank you very much.